Managed to win the Wildfire tournament on the weekend. It was, I think it was the biggest prize pool tournament so far. And it was Swiss format, so it was quite long. You had to qualify through the Swiss format to the finals, and then we ended up winning the finals. And I'll show the five game series in the finals against Sage. Um, and we can, I'll just show you the highlights and we can see if we can learn anything from it. Uh, the new patch is probably out very soon, so the teams might not be super relevant, but some of the positioning might. And they're very interesting games. We go down to the fifth game and it's we're about both at one HP on the fifth game. So you'll see that at the end. But this is game one here, and this is just the final round, and you could see my monkey here kind of was a bit indecisive. He eventually passed around to the scorpion, but started hitting him probably a bit too late, so I probably would have killed him there if you had a bit on him earlier. I don't know if I still would have won, but this last round would have been a lot closer. But he takes game one, and really in this matchup, even though I'm playing Mud Mystic and he's playing Enchanter Tsunami Mystic, it's all about who the Berserkers hit first. And yeah, mine got stuck there a little bit. Game two, I mixed things up with Fire. Mostly because I know I have a good chance against the Enchanted Tsunami team if he, assuming he'll play the same team again. And also to mix it up for the stream. It's a bit more exciting when it's less of a mirror matchup or something people haven't seen all tournament. So yeah, again, this is the final round. I... You can see there the Ranger just one-shot everything. So I was setting up on the right, assuming he would go to the right, or his left. And my ranger just kind of... I've done that before where I set your ranger up in the corner and if he lands in the middle of them he's got the instacast with all the energy gain I had and he just one-shots everything. So... It was an educated guess where he was going to go there and I was set up either way anyway. Uh, but a close game. But uh, I thought that was a fun one with the ranger. The ranger suicide bomb right in the middle. So that's one and one. This third game is... I get stuck into a, a matchup where I pretty much can't win if he sets up how he did. So right in the back corner. I'm playing Mud. Um, on ladder this week I actually finished 5th overall and I was playing Mud Mystic. And all the the Bloom Phosphorus players were setting up for Enchanted Mystic. Enchanted Tsunami. So the setup was a bit different and I was able to win most of my games against Bloom. But Sage here knew this matchup. And he sets up in the corner to protect himself from the Grilla. I couldn't win there with that setup, so I put down the right ramp fire just to see if I could see how that went, but obviously didn't work. Ah, uh, so if you are a Phosphorus player and he's still playing before the patch, set up in the back corner against Mud Mystic. Here, this is the final round. This is actually a mirror matchup, so I decide to go back to the, the third team I played in this series. And the deciding factor here was probably the the Terra Lynx. So he didn't have one. I put that in in the final round. I put Indomitable on him. And he gets a huge stun off against both his Berserkers. And he's way, way tanky because he's gaining that Earth. And I've also got the double cast on the Kukaraf. I don't know how big that came in, but it, I did put the Leecher down. So I got two times Leecher on that one cast. So that is now three... Uh, two and... Yeah, so that's now two and two. So this is the final round. Now you can see here I play... I'm playing seven Earth. So I've just got my Ranger bonded to one of my Earth units with no weapon. So that's allowing me to get seven Earth within this Enchanter Tsunami team. Now this has been working for me all tournament. I was beating... I, it was the first time I played this setup. I kind of just realised I could do that. Uh, mid-tournament with the Ranger bonded without a composite and I'd been beating Phosphorus players all tournament with it just in kind of straight sets now I don't there was something Sage was doing different to them here and it wasn't working as well you can see how it kind of does work in these early rounds you can see how tanky I am and how it can potentially be like you can see how it would just beat it straight out but like I said I, there was something Sage here was doing Maybe a bit different. Maybe you put the pure attack on the Fury Ox a bit earlier, so the pure extra pure attack wouldn't would just ignore the Earth. 
Uh, he switches sides here because my Terra Lynx is right in front of him. So it was a good move and I did maybe risk it with putting the Indomitable on my Terra Lynx knowing that he could switch. And most of the players were switching back and forth every round this whole tournament. So um, you'll see that I don't move my Terra Lynx until the last turn, I'm pretty sure. And it's because I'm expecting him to switch back and forth. So I think the commentators were a bit... I think it was Martini that was getting a bit tilted that I didn't move my Terra Lynx in front of his units. But yeah, I was expecting him to swap. That's why. And this late in the tournament, I was kind of, you know, game five. I was almost setting myself up for both sides. So right now the seven Earth isn't working. Um, and let's see if I decide to... No, I don't swap just yet, but I will I'll, I will switch uh, a bit later. So I go the crit there. Still wanting to reduce their energy. You can see on my Apon, I've got the Leecher. And he's also tanking the Lalura. The Leecher and the Suppressors are just going to be good for stopping both the Feriox and the Phosphorus Omega since they both heavily rely on them. Now this round was interesting. He actually got the the taunt the taunt thorns on his atlas. I didn't I didn't really think that legendary was that good, but my monkey uh, just won, you know, he just killed himself hitting the thorns that whole round. So very well played by him. I did I think he did cop a Omega from maybe the Ranger the Phosphorus, but yeah he kinda just killed himself on the thorns. So that nearly won him the whole tournament. I'm down to 45 HP. I'm thinking this 7 Earth is not working, so I switched to just the traditional Enchanter Mystic. I put my Monkey down the back to hit the Lalura, because I obviously don't want him on that Thorns again, and I'm just hoping my Enchanter Prox and my Ranger can kill the front line, and my Monkey can just stack his Berserker on the Lalura in the back line, and obviously not be hitting that Thorns. He still didn't swap sides, um, that's why my Terra Lynx was still on that side, but thankfully I was kind of set up either way, and I, yeah, I end up winning this round, obviously. I guess my Terra Lynx comes in handy towards the end there, but my Monkey are just choose for everything, and I did get the Pierce on the Monkey, which is huge, that's 80% Pierce, and he's got 5 ball walk, so... It is a bit awkward with that. I had to put the pure attack damage on my Kukraf just because I didn't have else to put it, but... I did eventually switch my Terra Lynx this turn because he wasn't switching, so... Uh, but I have an Indomitable on both sides anyway. I've set both my Berserkers in the back. What he actually does here, he goes to the center. Which I thought was a good move. And he also moved his Lura to the far left, which means my Monkey would would dodge him and not, not sight in the Lalura, so he goes straight up to the middle. He's on the thorns, he's on everyone, he's getting splash damage and he dies super quick. I kind of thought the game was done here, but thankfully my Rip Lance is pretty tanky by this stage, and his Ranger and Phosphorus are lined up, so my Ranger is hitting his Phosphorus. Thankfully, otherwise this would have, you know, there's no way I would have killed him. I still think the Periox could probably clean everything up here because he does have the Omni Vamp on him, but over time does hit, and my Ranger is still healthy. So I don't know, he may have won there if Overtime didn't hit, but end up winning in Overtime, and that was the tournament. So 600 USD. These tournaments are in the morning for me and I work, so if you're wondering why I play as guests, it's... If I'm playing as guest in a tournament, it's because I'm getting my brother to try last as long as he can in the tournament before I get home, and then generally I start playing. Um, I wouldn't do this for any qualifying tournaments, or if I had to qualify, if you had to qualify for the tournament. But that's the only way I can compete in these tournaments, um, unless they change do the random ones where they change the time. But if you did want to sign up for these wildfire tournaments, I would suggest doing so. So even if you finished eighth overall, you still got 100 USD in this tournament. So. Um, it's it's super fun, a lot of good practice, and you might win some decent money as well. But if you enjoyed that, make sure to like and subscribe, and hopefully the patch is out soon.